Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about, and this will probably be a story time, but I want to talk about the archetype, archetypal relationship of the Oofy Doofy and the Succubus. Now I would say this is, this has always been a relationship archetype, but I think it has become more prevalent in our modern society or postmodern society and basically we all know that oofy doofy is basically incapable of any sort of critical thought most of the time and they tend to just go with whatever uh the power tells them to think and believe. Now the succubus. Is definitely been more manufactured now. Since our society promotes that. And that's uh, one thing I wish Otto Weininger wrote. In his sex and character essay. Because he just had the two archetypes of the mother and the prostitute. He should add the succubus in there, but there's some crossover between it and the prostitute, I guess. But I had a couple friends, I'm sure you guys can relate to this, where they're all right, dude. They're a little uh, normy, I guess you can say. But somehow a female stumbles into their life. And they disappear. They might as well not even exist anymore. And a lot of times it winds up making their life worse. <laughs> like, uh, I can talk about one friend I know. And it's been pretty recent. Where, uh, this started about a year ago. And... If you looked at him, you'd call him an incel. Alright, that, that gives you an idea of uh, what he looks like physically. And uh, <clears throat> he goes on Bumble and meets this... Uh, God, what, what would I say she looks like? <laughs> Either way, uh, I'll say this. At least it was a looks match. It was a looks match, at least. Now, I don't know how he got this girl off Bumble. Because I remember I used it one time. And there was nothing but troons on there, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I downloaded Babylon on mistake instead of Bumble. But, anyway, he gets this girl, all that. Bye, 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 bye. Time goes by. And he still lives with his parents. And she's like, well, I want to move out. Bye, 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 bye. And he's like, okay. And then she goes to live with him, all that. And then he gets his own place. Well, I don't think he does yet, but. I'm not trying to share too many details. Anyways, time goes on. And eventually, this uh, Foyd says she's a gamer. Alright, and plays video games. That's how you should already... That's when your real, like, sus meter should be going off. Don't ever trust a woman... Who says she likes video games and plays them. Don't ever get one of them. <laughs> Anyways. He just like straight up. Just dumped. Me and another. Friend of mine. And. Bro it's like. <laughs> he's. I should have known something was up. When that Silent Hill, Who, Silent Hill 2 remake came out. He got it and said it was good. 
And now he over here playing Dragon Age Cuck Guard. <laughs> I, I think she's probably turning him into a tranny. I wouldn't be surprised if he troon, like she breaks up with him and he turns into a trans woman. He He's one of those dudes, like, I think there's only been one time in my years of knowing him where he made, a, like, a male character, bro. I don't know. He probably watched this video. He might get mad. It's, it's whatever at this point. <laughs> Ima imagine getting with a woman. <laughs> and <laughs> she gaslights you, then breaks up with you, and makes you true to out, bro. <laughs> Oh, man. That's how you know you're oofy-doofy, bro. Girl breaks up to you, upsets you so much, and you decide to cope by being trans. <laughs> or, uh... God, he, there's another uh, friend of mine. He's a little better dude. He ain't as oofy-doofy, but he definitely got some oofy-doofyisms. Most definitely. And, bro, I think she might be a witch. This uh, one Floyd he got with. She be making some sus art, bro. And little, like, boutique things. Bro, I think she's straight up, like, summoning, like, Canaanite spirits out of there. I remember I went to bro's house <laughs> one time. And just like a normal guy's house, you know, it wasn't nothing crazy. And she moves in, kicks one of his friends out. <laughs> and bro, this place is fucking plastered with like sigils, narcissistic like trinkets. Like this. There's, like, this giant, like, five-foot-tall painting of this woman sitting on a throne that she had painted for. Like, bro, how narcissistic do you have to be to do that and put it right there where you walk it through the front door and it's there in your face? <laughs> bro, and, man, she got, she's got death grip on them, bro, like, Dude been dressing funny. It's like overnight, he's turning to like a Neolithic European farmer. Like, he's straight up long housed. Not too bad, though. I mean, he'll say the N-word, but not when she's around, of course. You're like, well, I don't want her to hear it. <laughs> Bro, buck broken. Dude was buck broken. <laughs> uh... But it's just like, I don't think being oofy doofy is what necessarily gets you women. I think being oofy doofy attracts more of a succubus type woman. Because uh, I would say the biggest defined trait of the succubus is literally their unearning desire to control people and things. And especially whatever man they're with. Because they're not ultimately with them. Because they're like. Oh I want him to be the father of my children. And I love him. And I respect him. It's like no. They need a slave. That they can use to ultimately sacrifice a soul to like ball or whatever. A lot of these women too. They have like those septum piercings. Where it's like that bull nose ring. That's how you know somebody worships ball. <laughs> ball worshippers, bro. They don't they may not know it, but they are straight up. <laughs> but I don't know, I was probably all over the place, not the most concise, but I hope I I wanted to touch on the oofy doofy succubus relationship. And when I go outside, you see them all the time. Uh, 
If you want more stuff on this topic, you can go to Hyperborean Knowledge's channel. He has a lot of stuff on a real succubi. <laughs> uh, false real maidens. I need me a damn Scythian Amazonian. You ain't got one of them. You're, you're not a true Aryan. <laughs> one of them Scythian Amazonians. <laughs> But, anyways, guys, that's all I really wanted to say today. Y'all take it easy. See ya.